bookshelf. Monsters Incorporated. Always time for a laugh. Beep, beep, beep. Mike Wazowski's eye popped open and he grinned. It was his favorite hour of the day. Time for work. Mike turned off his alarm clock and hopped out of bed. He didn't want to be late for his job at Monsters Incorporated. When Mike got to Monsters Incorporated, he headed straight to the locker room. His job was to go into the human world and make kids laugh then bring the laughs back to Monstropolis to be changed into energy. But Mike wasn't just any employee. He was the top laugh collector. He earned this title by always coming up with new jokes. Mike walked down the hall to the laugh floor. A furry orange monster named George waved. Hi Mike, got any plans for the weekend? Mike just nodded. He didn't have time to chat. He was running through his routine. Mike practiced his jokes aloud. A sandal bumped into a sneaker. Want to hang out? The sandal asked. The sneaker raced off. Sorry, gotta run. When the buzzer sounded, Mike stepped through his station door and into a child's bedroom closet. He tiptoed to the bed. A little boy lay sound asleep. Guess he had a busy day, Mike said. I'll have to crack up somebody else tonight. A new door slid down and Mike stepped through it. You've got to be kidding, he whispered. The girl in this bedroom was asleep too. Mike returned to the laugh floor and tried another door, then another, but all the children were asleep. What a disaster, Mike grumbled. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm calling it quits for tonight. Mike found his friends and told them what happened. That's funny, said George. I didn't have any problems tonight. It was one of my best nights ever, said another monster named Charlie. Mike's best friend, Sully, patted his arm. I'm sure tomorrow will be better. Why don't you come have dinner with us? But Mike shook his head. I need twice as many laughs tomorrow. Gotta write new jokes, he said. When Mike got home, his girlfriend, Celia, called. How was work, she asked. Terrible, Mike groaned. Don't worry, Celia told him. The laughs will come. So, do you want to go to a movie on Saturday? Celia asked Mike. I don't know. Can I tell you tomorrow? He said. Then he hung up and wrote eight new jokes before he finally went to bed. The next night, Mike couldn't wait to capture some laughs. What did the ghost serve at his birthday party? Ice cream, he joked, warming up. But each time Mike stepped through a closet door, he found a sleeping child again. What's the matter, Mike? George asked. You look upset. Want to grab a bite? Not now, Mike grumbled. Everything okay, Mike? Sully asked. No, everything is terrible, Mike said. Suddenly, Mike noticed Sully was grinning, and the other monsters were too. Even Celia's hair snakes were smiling. Maybe you should relax, Sully suggested with a wink. What do you know about this? Mike asked suspiciously. We got you, George and Charlie exclaimed and high-fived. Got me, said Mike. The guys thought we should help you lighten up a bit, Sully explained. When was the last time you went out to lunch or stopped to chat? Mike started to explain. Then he realized his friends were right. He had been trying so hard to collect laughs that he'd forgotten to have some of his own. He grinned. Okay, how'd you do it? He asked. When you weren't home, I snuck into your house and changed your clock, Charlie said. That's why the kids were all asleep when you walked into their rooms. I kept their secret, Celia confessed. I thought the king of laughs could use a good laugh too. Slowly, a wide smile stretched across Mike's face. Then he started to laugh. I have to admit it, you guys really had me going, he chuckled. Sully cracked up too. This time, Mike, the joke was on you. The End